Welcome back to Injustice. It's mustard pizza time. We're going. More Starfire. 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 Land six light attacks. Okay. Not too bad. I wish I was getting more gear for her <laughs> as I was going along in these fights. That would that would be super helpful. But it'll just it'll just make that grid fight tough. Oh yeah, in this game, Bane's kind of just like doing his own little whatever thing. Let's get those light attacks. Perfect. Bane is when I when this game was first coming out, I was so excited about Bane. His his play style just it is not it's not for me. If you if you like chargey characters, it's all about Bane, man. He's he's great. I'm like, look at this. He just did all that damage to me. He he's definitely a payoff character though. Jeez. He has the um he can do a ton of damage with his venom, but he also takes a ton of damage when he doesn't have it. Get the hell away from me. How do you beat characters like that? Oh, he got me! Oh, no. Of course, you don't get to see the super, because the intro thing killed me. Which I never got about Nether Realm games. I never really liked that. The x-rays in Mortal Kombat were like that, also. Chuck this bitch! Mm. Alright. And it's not like the AI is getting any tougher, it's just they're doing a ton more damage to me because they have better gear than I do. So I'll have to I'll have to be careful. Some of these fights could get pretty ridiculous. Dick Grayson believed there was good in you. I have forgotten. That doesn't mean you are forgiven. Does he have a lightning bolt on his chest? Why? I want to know why. Okay. That sucks. That sucks. He's comboing me. Surprisingly, Superman is not a great zoner. He's good, for sure. But he's not great. His, his eye lasers aren't all that effective because they take so long to charge up. He's so open for so long. But then he can do stuff like that, which is just... Just ridiculous. Nope. I, I really like that combo. It's, it's very simple, but it looks sweet. Uh-oh. And he's dead. My videos are now on YouTube. Great. Sorry, I was uploading as as as, as I've been recording these. Finally. What? It's just way worse. It's just worse. I don't need that. Get that out of here. And I'm, I'm so excited, once I'm done with this Starfire stuff, next episode I'm going to do some that For the Lin Kuei uh, multiverse, which is all Sub-Zero stuff. I'm not some trophy, Brainiac. You will be collected. Try it and you will get burned. Begin. So if you want to see a character that, like, I actually kind of know how to play, that <laughs> then watch... Episode, it'd be four probably of this series. Whatever the last one is, I'll title it For the Link Way so you guys know. Yeah, I, I love Sub Zero in this game. 
Let's do. Okay. Let's do this. Lasers. Whoops. Get burned. Get rocked. And that did hit him too. Let's do this. Let's do it again. Uh oh. Alright, Brainiac. Man, she... I'm, I'm really coming around on Starfire, actually. She's actually pretty fun. She looks so cool. That's, that's what it is. It's not that she's like a super fun character to play or anything. She just looks really cool. Speaking of really cool, I love that Firestorm helmet. He's he's a character that I'd like to play, but he he sucks. He's he's a character that's like really in the middle, which is really not effective. But some of his projectiles are ridiculously good. He's just overall he's not a very great fighter in this game, which is a shame. He, I was pretty excited for him at first. All right. Just shoot the laser. <laughs> when when the game was first be having its reveals, I was so excited about him and Bane and uh, Scarecrow. And the only character I ended up liking to play as out of those three was Scarecrow. And I was so um, underwhelmed with Green Arrow's design, but he is he's just fun to play. And I still don't like his design, um, because there's no there's no gear with hood, with a hood for some reason. And they've said that they're gonna update <clears throat> before the Fighter Pack Two announcement, and they're gonna put a bunch more gear in the game. And I hope they add green a hood for Green Arrow, or like a CW type gear set, so he has the arrow hoods. Cause that would make me love him even more. There's all this DC lore that I don't know much about. <laughs> I know I know some stuff. <clears throat> I know the like basics. I know the Batman stuff. Because everybody, that's like all the Batman movies kind of tell the whole Batman story. Uh oh, <clears throat> man, Adam is Adam is so good in this game. Oops, I wanted to ride that. He has some of the most <clears throat> high damaging combos you can do. And that move right there, just, it's ridiculous. I've seen people who are like really good tournament level players just get blown up by that, that move. And of course this Black Adam has really good gear too. That's super. Happen X, get the bonus damage. It's like two percent or something, but it it helps. It does help. Let's do that. Stop, man. Just stop. There we go. He's definitely always my biggest threat. Good old Black Adam. And this is also nice because it's forcing me <laughs> doing doing this. It's forcing me to play as her, so I'm gonna get to level her up to level twenty naturally. Should be so sick. So sick. Because then you can start getting really good epic gear. You'll burn for what you did. What about the bats no killing move? Burn recovery is extremely painful. Begin.
Man, I'm... Everybody loves the Joker, man. And I'm, I'm really pumped because um, I play a lot of Telltale games. And today the new um, Batman Telltale game came out, like the first episode. And I haven't, I haven't played it yet, so no spoilers. Actually, when this will come out, I'll probably have played it. But um, I'm so pumped that Joker is a big part of it. Because he, he was my favorite part of the first Batman Telltale game. Even though he wasn't very, like, a big deal in it, he was only in a little bit. I feel like the guy they got to voice act him and how they wrote him was awesome. He was great. Whoops. Okay, really? You got no health, man. So I'm, I'm super excited about that. Telltale has been killing it for me lately, at least. Because I loved Batman, and that's that's great that that's coming back. And I loved... My favorite series of theirs is The Wolf Among Us. And they've, de they've finally decided to do a second one. And I'm so excited for it. It'll start next year. <clears throat> Ever had a really bad sunburn? Spent a year stranded on a desert island. A year? I thought it was five. Oh, get over here. But like, you see what I mean about his design? Obviously, this has been messed with a lot by his gear. But it's definitely based on the comic book Green Arrow a lot, like heavily based with the and the Justice League car, uh, cartoon with the the beard and the mustache. And I was never a huge fan of that design. I've always liked the more menacing looking Green Arrow. But I get they're trying to keep uh, they're trying to preserve the comics, which is also. It's really cool that they're doing that. And I'm really happy that they do. I wouldn't quit your day job. Still not hot enough for you. Oh. I do love that about him though. His his clash victory. Back to chucking lasers. Look at that hippo. What the hell was wrong with that hippo's mouth? <laughs> oh, I didn't see what challenge I have to do. Oh, well. They're usually pretty easy in these multiverses. The only ones that are tough are, like, perform, like, three roll escapes. Because a roll escape costs two bars of meter. Can you bring back Dick Grayson? The time of heroes has passed. Say that again, and I melt your helmet. Begin. Whoops. Alligator. Oh, use one environmental interaction? That's easy. <laughs> I just did it on accident. Really strong defense build, Dr. Fate. I'm doing way less damage than I do to some other characters. It's crazy how the game like wants you to play certain players, like certain characters. I mean, because um, even still, like I've never, <clears throat> I've never played <clears throat> Doctor Fate or Green Lantern, and they're the characters I get the most gear for. I just constantly get gear for Green Lantern. It's it's a little ridiculous. I'm like, man, give me stuff for the characters I play as. It's it's kind of it's really frustrating. And the, like I even have this thing that's supposed to make sure that you get more drops for the character you play as. And it still just gives me tons of Green Lantern stuff constantly. 
All right, two more fights, and then we're going to do the grid boss. I actually should get something, an epic piece of gear from this. Hopefully, before I go into the grid fight. <laughs> that grid fight's going to be tough. I will fight to protect my home. That's not your home, alien. That was just rude, Grodd. Begin. Yeah, Grodd. Why you got to be a dick? Whoops, messed that up. Just get away. <laughs> Shoot the lasers. Grodd has a tough time with zoners. But Grodd... <clears throat> Grodd's one of those characters that you don't see ever. People just, like, don't like playing as him. Mostly because he's ridiculously underpowered. His, his attacks don't do tons of damage, and he has no real way of getting in close to the opponent. And he, he obviously has, he has no zoning abilities at all. I think if they gave him just a small, like... And I guess he does have a leap attack that's, that's kind of useful. But that's about it for Grodd, is that, is that one leap attack to get in. And he, he has a small charging attack, but if he's going up against someone who shoots projectiles, it doesn't, that, that move doesn't have armor. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that move doesn't have armor, so he just kind of gets wrecked <laughs> as he's trying to run in. It's really bad. The best thing you can do against zoners, and I think it's awful, is either pick a character with a teleport, like Scarecrow, um, or Supergirl, or slowly walk forward and duck, duck their projectiles. Maybe you should talk to a friend. Our Red Lantern needs no friends. Poor Atrocitus. We all need friends. Begin. Atrocitus. Look, Atrocitus has a friend. Did Atrocitus really say he doesn't have a friend? Alright, he just wrecked me there. He's got a he's got a freaking cat. That he like parties with. Look, there's Dex. Uh, I think his name's Dexstar. If I remember right. Man, Atrocitus, you're wrecking me, dude. I'm dead. All right. This is gonna be tough. Atrocitus is always tough, though. Tough matchup for a lot of zoners. If you, or you, yeah, if you're having trouble with zoners, sometimes you can pick Atrocitus. He has some incredible anti-zoning attacks. And if he's able to get close, he, he's devastated. For some reason, the AI isn't too keen on using some of those techniques. Oh no, I didn't have the... Oh jeez. Oh, okay. He easily could have killed me there if it was an experienced atrocities player. But of course it is just the AI. <clears throat> Tons of new gear. Um that's not very good. That's alright. We'll do that. Sure I lose some defense, but I hit more offense than I lose defense. Twinkle star, baby. What I get give me a, a head. That is what? All zeros. That's horrible. A platinum other box, ten thousand credits. That's it? Wow. You don't even get any Starfire stuff. Um, let's customize and see if there's anything better before we go into the this grid fight. Cause he is gonna wreck me. 
I don't know. None of these seem all that great. I'm probably gonna get wrecked, but we'll give it a shot. I mean, I want to do it for the epic head. It's it's so worth it doing this. And Starfire. even if you don't have Starfire, this is a free trial for her this week. So you should definitely do this. The only the only good thing about this this is a level one grid, but it's like a boss version of grid. So that he only has one health bar, but his defense, attack, special attack, special moves, and health are all ridiculously high. Like, look at that. I did almost nothing there. And he's he's smart, too. That's the other thing. Like, look at... Oh, my God. I'm so screwed here. I mean, this is just bad for me. I'll have to level her up a bunch and then come back and do this probably. Cause I've I've barely done anything to him. And I lost a whole life bar already. He just does so much damage. My god. I'm dead. Just gonna super. I'm definitely dead. There's no way I can do this right now. Look at that. This is a super move. It does nothing. Oh my gosh. One projectile nearly killed me there. Why am I even trying? Kill me. <laughs> Jesus, that's tough. I'm gonna be leveling up Starfire for the rest of the week, trying to get ready for that. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, it's weird doing my own solo thing, and this is my first go. So, I really, I really appreciate it um, that you guys are watching this stuff. But next time, we're going to run through this multiverse for the Lin Kuei. We're going to do it as Sub-Zero to get the Sub-Zero gear.